dysfunctional vet. I've got a solo backpack sprayer. It's a three gallon. I've used a lot of backpack sprayers. This is not a sponsored video, but of all the backpack sprayers I've ever used, the Solo is the only one that I would buy and own. And I think I've used every one of them that's made. Now these are actually liquid um, sprayers as opposed to dust sprayers. I've used dust sprayers and I don't use them here, so I'm not even gonna evaluate them here. Now, I've been using city water in my tank for when I'm spraying for uh, bugs and weeds and stuff like that. And even though I rinse the tank out and hang it upside down, the flocculant, which is used to remove crud out of the water, has built up in my tank. And as a result of that, this spray tip tends to clog up real bad. Now, I've cleaned it out pretty good. You can still see some of the crud See that white stuff? That's crud that's built up. I flushed it out with tank spray cleaner and this is supposed to dissolve everything out and to a large extent it probably did. Now I've got a three gallon tank and the minimum size that they work with here is like 25 gallons and that's four ounces. And I put a full tablespoon in and allowed it to sit for 20 minutes with agitation and then started spraying it out and I was getting all kinds of crud building up in this filter. So what I'm doing now is I've added two gallons of water. I'm getting ready to just uh, open up the sprayer and just let it gravity feed out and if this doesn't take care of the problem then I'm going to disassemble the pump and I'll videotape that and we'll go from there. But for right now, I'm hoping that this uh, tank cleaner has taken care of it. This stuff is supposed to just dissolve everything. And if you were changing from one chemical to another, it says to, to double use this stuff. And basically, I'm not, I'm not changing from chemical to chemical, and I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to get the flocculant out and if you want to know what flocculant is, a lot of times it's an aluminum something or another that easily bonds to contaminants in water. If you flushed out a water heater and you see all this kind of a jelly looking stuff coming out, that is flocculant. I'm going to dump this and we'll see if it's working. All right. I'm going to try to zoom in. Let me see if I can stabilize this is that flocculent stuff I'm telling you about. It's just kind of a, a crud. See how it just kind of falls apart? But it, it collects the dirt and such out of the water. Right now I'm gravity feeding this thing. I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. I think there's just so much flocculent that's inside this tank that although this worked really well, I mean this worked great, the um, normally I can't pump it up more than once before it clogs this time around I pumped it up three times and was spraying and it was working great but I was still getting the crud down inside of the see that in there I'm still getting this in here so I guess what I really need to do is take this apart and clean that out but this tank sprayer I got this at Tractor Supply. I know other people carry it. This might be something that you want to put in your uh, tool kit so that when you're changing from one product to another, you don't get, uh, let's say you're using Roundup and you want to go to a insecticide to spray crops. This might be what you want to use in order to prevent your Roundup from getting on your crops that you're trying to grow. Like I say, when I get ready to tear this down, I'll make a video on that. Right now I'm in the process of making a log skitter, which I'll make a video on a little bit later. Dysfunctional vet out.